organization is quite the organization. Um, I tell you what, this is an Army National Guard unit that is constantly on the road. They provide, uh, the vehicles don't get uh, deployed, the personnel do. The vehicles stay behind, uh, but the uh, transportation unit itself, the drivers are constantly, and the mechanics are constantly wow. deployed. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Veterans Day! Happy Veterans Day to all of you. Riding in the float, we have the commander of the company, Regina Howe, her husband, David, their daughter, Cecilia and Aubrey. Tell us a little bit more about these vehicles and how they are used and served. These vehicles, obviously you see the high profile in them, so that they can ride somewhat in water. Uh, they're able, you see the tubes on the rims coming out of the, out of the rims. They yes. can inflate and deflate the tires while they're moving without having to hook up anything to them. And it helps for traction, uh, whether they're in mud, snow, whatever. They all have governors on them, so uh, they're usually governed to go no faster than 55 to 70. Uh, but they're very powerful and able to do quite a bit. And you know, I don't know if you heard, but a, a, a helicopter overhead, apparently that was the Black Hawk helicopter that yes. was flying overhead. And it, by the way, will be landing into Chansey Park for a static display, which is going to be open to the public here after the parade. What a wonderful thing to see and to witness. So hopefully many of you can head over to see that. Here well, you see the National Guard. That, uh, California National Guard that went by. Yeah. Uh, I was struggling a little bit because I had, I had kind of got a, a, a brain stall here. But it's the Theater Aviation Sustainment Maintenance Group, TASMAC. Ah. And then we have the 40th Combat Aviation Brigade. We are the future of the 40th Combat Aviation Brigade is led by Colonel Mark Van Dyke. The 40th Infantry Division was organized and federally recognized in March in 1986. And now we have Paula Yang. Yes, Hi, Paula. I know her. I know Paula. Good to see her. Miss Yang was a, a former candidate for District 5. She's with the Mong News TV reporter, and uh, we hope to see her running again. Uh, she's uh, quite the individual, does a lot for the Mong community and a lot for the Fresno community beside. Paula Yang. She was accompanied by her veteran father, who served in the Vietnam War, along with brothers and all other family members that all support her and support all of our veterans as well. We appreciate Paula being out here. Uh, it's funny how you'll see a lot of uh, elected officials and those running for office. Uh, Congressman Costa has always been a mainstay and so has Patterson, but he's in South Korea. But a lot of these people, you only see them during election time. Yeah. And uh, that, that's okay, I guess, but uh, we know we're wise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it certainly is good to have her here and her family. That's right, yes. absolutely. Ambassador Post 99, Fresno Madera! Veterans helping veterans! This is your team Ambassador Post 99. And they say if you want to have some fun while doing great things in the veteran community, then come join them because they do a lot of great things. And don't forget that they also run a thrift store, which is located on Shields and Cedar, where you can get a lot of great stuff. Really low, low prices. And all the revenues help fund the veteran friendly program. All right, who do we have here? Arnie Schwarz Insurance Agency. They've been around since 1966 and they're in the white Cadillac. That's a 1966 Cadillac, by the way, a white one. A white one? Yeah. Is that what yeah. <laughs> okay. That one's a 49 Olds. And it's, that's a red one. Yeah. Uh, that's a 49 Olds right there. Two uh -huh. classic cars insured by Arnie. How's that? The Wynnum Senior Living Community is making their presence here because they have 10 Air Force veterans, 10 Navy veterans, 5 Marine Corps veterans, 
nine Army veterans and one nurse or Army veteran. Look at them, and they want to say thank you to all of the military veterans for risking their lives and helping hold the American dream of creating a greater common good for all of us to live. So it's good to have all of them here. What, here okay, what is this? This is Army Specialist 4, Olin Self. Served in Vietnam from 1970 to 71. Served in the American Division of First Calvary, Charlie Company, Troops Doing Reconnaissance. There's that group, that, uh, that name again, Recon. Recon. And here we have Miss Clara Smith. She's driving a 2005 Cadillac XLR hardtop convertible. Only Look at that. made 1,200 of those cars were made that year. That's it. In her car is her boyfriend, Sergeant Edward Cowboy. St. Ong, he's a Vietnam vet. All right. California Cadet Corps, Yosemite High, welcome. Good to have you all here. This is the Yosemite High School, Oak Creek Intermediate with the Wasuma Elementary Schools. The California Cadet Corps is an applied leadership program that was started in April 5, 1911 in the California high schools. It continues to grow each year and has been a great benefit to our youth. We certainly appreciate them being here today. And we appreciate all of you being here as well and for sticking around, helping us pay tribute to all of our veterans. This is the Tehran Shriners of Fresno, California. All right, Shriners. <laughs> Look at them. Bro. Yeah. The Shriners are a fun organization. They do a lot of community service, but they have a lot of fun doing it as well. Good deal. They were organized in 1872, and believe it or not, they're one of the largest philanthropic organizations in the world. All right. Uh, okay. the 20 Shriners Hospital. i got to stop you right okay. here, Alex. Oh, we've got to stop you. Want, if you ever wonder what I want for Christmas, is this it? This is it right here. Every man's dream right here. Motorized recliner chair. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Hey, if we get you that for Christmas, Dan, you have to promise to wear the red, um, what was he wearing? The red rope. Yes. And you don't have to have the calm face, but yeah. it would be nice. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, <laughs> not a problem then. It's All yours. All right, here we are. Love those Shriners. They are fun. Yes, they are. <laughs> if you know a child who needs help, please call a Shriner because they really, really sustain all of the Shriner hospitals for children in the United States, including one in Montreal and one in Mexico City. You gotta love this this mover company, Meathead Movers. Uh, every time I think of that, I think of all in the family. Uh, when, oh, Meathead! Uh, yeah, when you always used to call the son-in-law <laughs> Meathead. I love these guys. I see their vehicles out and about, and I, every time it brings a smile to my face. And they're one of our supporters. Yes, they are. So they work thank hard, you. they have fun, and they serve our community by, pri by providing premium moving services. All right. Here's, uh, I gotta say this every year, my favorite high school, <laughs> Roosevelt High School. Well, both my daughters graduated from Roosevelt. A lot of my friends graduated from Roosevelt. I love Roosevelt, and they're doing great in football this year. All right, Roosevelt High School marching band and their flag and uh, drill team. All right, Roosevelt High School Marching Band. The Rough Rider Band. That's right. You have your number one band. That's right. They sounded so good. The band director is Taylor Leak, I'm sorry, and drum major, Marissa Gilasella. And what? It is. 
did I even take on trying to say numbers or doing math, right? Here's the Central Valley Mustang Club. Boy, these are proud Mustang owners. Yeah, these for are sure. the. This is the 60s, the, the 60s year Mustangs. Looking good. They really work to preserve and restore all Mustangs. It's a family oriented organization. Yes, and they, they are. are host of the Fallen Heroes Charity Car Show every year. So it's good to have them here and they're part of the parade every year. There's a teddy bear. Oh, There's look at that teddy bear. Yeah. Teddy bears belong in parades. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's a nice one. <laughs> Is this a Mach 1? You got it. That's a Mach 1. See, I didn't even have to see the insignia, so I knew that was a Mach 1. How did one. you know that car was a Mach 1? I'm just that kind of guy. I'm just, I know so much. My I don't, wife I didn't loves even, me because all the time I'm always telling You're multi-talented. Yeah. I didn't even know a Mach 1 was a vehicle. Oh, yeah. It was a car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, now I know. Yeah. Every year I learn something new with yeah. these hands. I love that. Look at all these Mustangs from... Um, and gosh, every year is represented in the This one's a Cobra right here. You can see the snake on the side of the car. There you go, it's a oh, Cobra. Yeah. That's a special one. There's another Cobra out there, GT. Right the yellow here. is a GT. Yeah. I love the yellow GT Mustang. Yeah, I want to give a, a shout out to my wife, Mary Payne. She's uh, so blessed to be married to me. So. <laughs> uh, you are so humble, Dan. I know I am. This is why I, I love uh, sitting next to you every year because you're just so humble. Here's a, Kel a Carol Shelby. Those are special Mustangs. You can buy a Mustang and then send it to Shelby and then he puts his finishing touches on those. They're very rare, very rare. GT500. So you yeah. can customize your Mustang. Yes, yes oh, you wow. can. There goes a gallon of gas. There yeah. goes a gallon of gas. There goes a gallon of gas. <laughs> gas right there. Yeah, my wife Mary, she's so she's so blessed, I tell you. She's so blessed. She has to get up every morning and say, every day gets better. I can't wait till tomorrow. She must be so proud of you. Yeah, she's sitting right there. I can't see her face. It's probably a good thing. Oh. <laughs> we should have her up here and tell us the truth. Oh, no, we don't want that. No. <laughs> I'll speak in her behalf. Okay. All right. Oh, look at this. this. Look at a Mustang with the Mustang in a Mustang. All right, you can't get any better than that. Oh my gosh, he can't talk to us right now. He's a little horse. Oh come on, that's, yeah, funny. The, that's a knee slapper, Dan. Yeah, I really funny. like that one. We need, yeah, we need, we need a lot of humor here. Yeah, Look at this. Yeah. And his tail. See the tail coming out yeah, of the back of the car. The yeah. Wow, that's a big Mustang in yeah. a Mustang. In a Mustang. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is too much fun. The Discovery Center is here, carrying all the Boy Scouts who packed 1944, actually. All the Boy Scouts of packed 1944 who are honoring our vets by waving their American flags with big smiles on their faces. Good to have you guys here. Yeah, Scout Troop 358. All right. Okay, uh, I'm not sure who this group is right here. Yes, I know. Uh-oh. Sandy Martinez out there, my counterpart. This is the Young Marines. These are going to be our future Marines. And they're under the leadership of Sandy. She does so much with these guys. We appreciate them. I see some little girls in the group as well. Yes, That's when I always say good guys, to see. I them both. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, no. We... <laughs> Look at here, Marine Corps League. Mike Aguilar is sitting up front there. We appreciate him. Is that Miss Beautiful Clovis? Yes, it is. Good yeah. to have you here, Miss Clovis. Okay, Look at this, this. this guy who's in camouflage? Yes. I know who he is. I know who he is. Can you tell who he is? I cannot tell who he is. That is Staff Sergeant Hicklin, United States Marine Corps. There he is. Oh, I knew it was you. All right. I could tell by your hand. <laughs> you always have the inside scoop. Yes. Actually, I didn't know it was him until he called me this morning and said, Tina Sofer, <laughs> and then this is also Jim Weiser. Hi, Jim. Thanks for being here. Look this at is this. a fantastic trailer. It's my trailer. Heather, <laughs> all right. Good to see you. All right. Marine Corps League Detachment 14. They meet every fourth Saturday of the month at Clovis Veterans Memorial Building. Again, thank you, Lorenzo. 
for letting us meet there. We appreciate that. Clovis Veterans Memorial. You know, we call this Fresno Veterans Day Parade, but this is actually the Central Valley Veterans Parade, and Clovis plays a big role in it. And we certainly appreciate them for what they do. And you know, we obviously know the Marine Corps because of their Fresno Toys for Tots program, one of the many programs that they have. Remember, they're going to be asking for your toy donations this holiday season. Look at this guy. Has, if his stripes got any more, he wouldn't be able to bend his elbow. <laughs> All right. Got to love that Marine Corps uniform. I tell you what, it is the best uniform of all the services. And really, I'm not being biased or whatever. Yes, I am. That is a master <laughs> gunnery sergeant. He's looking good. We appreciate him. I think and we can all agree with you, Dan. Yeah. And the Toys for Tots is quite the program. Please, please support Toys for Tots. There's a lot of groups out there collecting toys, but Toys for Tots uh, is, their mission is to make sure every kid gets at least one toy for Christmas. Hi there, ladies. Happy Veterans Day to you. Yes, look at that. Thank you for all you do. <laughs> Toys for Tots train, part of Marine Corps League. Be a proud contributor, please. Help out, Toys for Tots. We have the BMW Post 5057, Toys for Tots as well. We have a lot of help from different organizations. Uh, the 509 is helping out, 8900 is helping out. You just saw the Veteran of Foreign Wars post 50 for 57, so we appreciate them as well. And now we have the Joint Military Assistance Command. All right, riding in a Harley. No, I'm sorry, that's not a Harley. It's an easy mistake, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the Honors Command Joint Military Robbery Corps. All right. They provide services for our deceased veterans, and they say that there really is no more gratifying experience than being in an Honor Guard. Many of these members have made it their priority to be here. They're honored to be able to provide the services that they provide. The Joint Military Assistant Command provides honor services that include a chaplain and a commander, seven riflemen for the three Valley Rifle Salute. They present the flag and shell cases, and wow, they provided more than a thousand military honor services for the families of deceased veterans to date. They do. The uh, Joint Military Command helps a lot in burials and color guards, and they're combined. Uh, of other military organizations, so it's not an all Army mm. or all Marine, it is joint services, as well as you saw uh, Hmong and uh, Lao uh, participants as well. It is truly a joint military command. This is our heroes' dreams that we're taking a look at right now. Hi everybody, their mission is to honor the service and sacrifices of our nation's veterans and support veterans and their families from all generations by helping provide them with opportunities to assist in their recovery. Lost without a mission. All right. Hi ladies, happy Veterans Day to you. Living your dream, all right. Dan, this is the Ability Center right behind them, uh, our heroes' dreams, and they've been proudly serving the needs of disabled veterans on the West Coast since 1994. They partner with the VA yeah, to provide yeah, vets yeah, wheelchairs, yeah. accessible vehicles, the hand controls, lifts, ramps, as well as vehicle rentals, custom installations of all types of adaptive equipment. Stop by the Ability Center and say hello. All right. I Heart Radio is in the I house. Heart Radio. Bringing the music. All right. Hi. We appreciate them and their 95 Soft Rock yes. 98.9 and Power Talk FM 96.7. And they got their uh, Central Valley Blue Star Moms. All right. California State Retirees. The mission of the California State Retirees is to protect the pension and the health benefits of all retired state employees. California State Retirees is the largest and the most experienced organization exclusively representing state retirees with 26 chapters statewide serving over 37 
100,000 members, state retirees, have a strong voice in protecting their pensions and health benefits they worked for. And they provide services to Fresno, Tulare, and Madera counties. So in case you need other services, they are there for you. Here's the Lipan Apache, and they're out of Texas. Wow. I know these guys are such a great organization. State. Great organization. There's a lot of meaning in those staffs. Uh, they're just not decorative. There's a lot of history, a lot of respect and honor goes to those staffs. We appreciate them. Many of them are wearing native regalia and yes, the smells. Are. Did you see the burning sage? Yes, well, the burning sage. Yeah. That is traditional. That's Frank Gonzalez right there carrying the California state flag. We certainly appreciate their uh, support of the Veterans Parade. They're here every year. Uh, they're quite the organization. We really appreciate the Lapan Apache uh, group, absolutely. They are honoring some of their fallen brothers. Jesse Benavides, Joe Mencillas, Sliver Fox, and John Decker Sr. Again, we thank uh, the uh, Native Americans for being flexible and working with us as we try uh, kind of dispersing them throughout the uh, parade so that we can get more uh, uniqueness to what their group and who they are. And uh, I hope they understand we meant them the best of honor and respect to our Native American veterans and our Native American uh, troops. We appreciate them so much. Thank you. It's great for them to have such a big presence here. Virginia's running around. Virginia, like you're doing such a great off. job. Yeah. We have to thank you for putting this <laughs> parade together. <laughs> She's lost a lot of weight. She has, <laughs> running around. Yeah. How long is the parade route, Dan, do you know? Oh, why do you ask me that question? It's not quite a mile. Yeah, it's close. I can but ask you anything about a car yeah, and you'll I know. know it. <laughs> it's close. It, it, when you're in the parade, it, it it's, seems it, like yeah, 10 it's miles. about 30, 30 to, to 45 minutes long. Wow. To walk it, yes. All right, take a look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? The Minarets High School equestrian look team making a beautiful look presence at the here in the parade route. Look at how pretty beautiful girls, they are. Pretty girls, pretty girls. Look at that. All right. They're a high school equestrian team. Unbelievable. They're made up of the team captain, Katie Linderholm, and team members, Megan Redmond, Kaylee Sandstrom, Sandstrom Abby Laspada, Madeline Volandi, Lily Keir, Miranda Adams, and Melanie Prentice. And we have their handlers also. And we got to pay special respect to the guy pulling the cart in the back. He has a special job. <laughs> a special <laughs> job. All right. We appreciate you, brother. Thank you so much. He's got a all right. Job. All of the all the people who support the Easy Equestrian groups. It's a lot behind the scenes, and we certainly thank them for what they do. And with the Minarets High School Equestrian team, you saw the Force Gold Rodeo Grounds flag team and royalty. The Force Gold Rodeo Grounds is home to two rodeos a year, folks. Don't miss them. The first weekend in May. And then there's another one. <laughs> All right, these are AT&T Division volunteers, and they're dedicated to supporting active military personnel, veterans, and their families. Now we have the Forest Gold Rodeo Grounds flag team. Did I get ahead of myself no, for a little no, bit? No, no, it was, they were switched, so. Okay, okay. Yeah. AT&T veterans. So this is AT&T, their numbering is a little different. But here's the AT&T ah, volunteers. There we go. Yes, they are an invaluable part of the AT&T workforce. In 2013, AT&T announced its goal to hire 10,000 veterans and their family members into career opportunities with the company. And in 2016, in conjunction uh, with joining forces, AT&T committed to hiring an additional 10,000 vets for a total of 20,000 vets hired by 20. They are on the road, so yes. thank you, thank you, thank you for being pioneers. All right, look at this. AT veterans, veterans of AT&T, all right.
they're a big group, aren't they? Yes, they are. Uh, AT&T does a lot for veterans, uh, as well as PG&E. Uh, you know, there's a lot of organizations out there who have a, specially, a special hiring program just for veterans, and AT&T is one of them. Uh, so we certainly appreciate AT&T and all they do. All right. AT&T. Got a lot of great vehicles. <laughs> yes, they do. Well, they do a lot. They're a large organization, and uh, we really appreciate everything that they do. I think we depend on AT&T for a lot of things, don't we? Yes, we do. It's good to know that they support our veterans like they do. Yes. Giving back to the community, giving back to the veterans. Another another thank you for Deli Delicious for dropping off uh, Subway sandwiches to KC24, the crew working behind the scenes. And you know they did bring us sandwiches. Yes, I because, saw yes, them. Yes. Like, of course they're out of reach, but uh, that's... Well, it, it would be hard to eat them right now because, <laughs> you know, we're, we're, we're... Can you imagine? So I would I would say Alex. So what's what's uh, this group? <laughs> I would say Dan, take over because I'm yeah. about to have a ham sandwich. Yeah, there you go. Look at AT and T thanking KC24. That's yes, nice. That's very nice. And we thank KC24 for all they do. Absolutely. Bringing you the parade live. So yes. hello to all of our viewers watching right now, uh, not only on TV but on Facebook Live and to the millions of other people watching right. throughout the country. That's right, 72 million households, they estimate. All right. Did you do anything special for the Marines' birthday? Yes, I did. I went to the elbow room with a group of Marines, and we had a great time. <laughs> Look at this. I knew something smelled good. I knew they it brought did. us the sandwiches. I thought it was your perfume. No, <laughs> it's a sweet onion perfume yeah. I'm wearing. Yeah. Um, I think they...